Well, I just filmed this video, except for it cut off, it cut me off in half a sentence. So, yay, I have to restart. So if some of the answers sound a little bit scripted, it's because I already did this, but it decided to not work. So that's fantastic. Anyways, um, I'm just going to get into it, because I don't feel like doing the whole s speech I did earlier. Anyways. So today is a Q&A, it's not from my main Instagram account because, um, I don't know, I just, it wouldn't fit in with the theme, and other than that, people wouldn't ask questions if I put it on my personal account. So I put it on one of my other accounts, which I'm not linking for personal reasons, so on, such forth, let's go. So the first question is from Simply Childish, which is asking me, um, how did I discover Melanie Martinez, and like, when did I first discover her? So, I discovered her in, I want to say, about... January of 2016, so basically a year ago, and, um, I don't know, the first song I heard of hers was Mad Hatter, and I heard it on, like, this video edit on Vine, which, by the way, R.I.P. Vine, <laughs> but anyways, I found it on a Vine, and it, it was, like, this video of Effie from Skins UK, like, a bunch of gifts from when she was having her mental breakdown on the show and stuff, and... Like, the lyrics where you think I'm psycho, you think I'm gone, tell a psychiatrist something is wrong. And for whatever reason, that, like, drew me. And I was like, yes. Yes, this is me. Hello. Um, <laughs> but, so, I, that was that. And, yeah, so that's basically, and I mean, like, I, and then I started, then I heard the song Cry Baby, and I, like, once again, related to it very heavily because I am a huge crybaby. I cry over everything and it's absolutely insane. Um, um, next question, the um, person has requested not to have their username shared, which I totally respect. Cool. Which is why also I don't have my glasses on because otherwise you would see the reflection in my you know, of the screen in my eyes. Um, and they ask, what TV shows and films and stuff are you into? Well, I am into Supernatural, American Horror Story, and for movies, Child's Play and Scream. There are a lot of- okay, I used to be like a huge horror movie fan, but for some reason, now I'm terrified and I can't even look at the fucking screen, so there's something. And then the next one is- I'm just going straight into it. The next one is from Crybaby's Cookie, what are your favorite things to do? Uh, my favorite things to do... Or, like, you know, hanging out with people who I really like to be around. Um, can't say a lot of the things I really like doing, because then I would get in a lot of trouble. So I'm not going to go there. But if you follow the account that these questions are from, then you know. You definitely know what I'm talking about. If not, I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to talk about it. Simple as that. Um... And then LBBH cries spam, what do you do for fun? Literally, like, the last question. Like, I, I mean, like, I love, like, like, I'll, a lot of the time I just hang out with my boyfriend or my dogs or, like, you know, I'll take pictures and I spam post on that one Instagram account that I'm not linking. I write a lot, too, so there's that. I'm just gonna move over here so I can see how long this video is so far. Okay. Um... The next one is from, uh, the way I say this is so weird, so bear with me, Plus P-L-S dot, I want to say your name is Kaylee, I'm going to guess it's Kaylee, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Um, who was your first celebrity crush? My first celebrity crush, I mean, I don't know if you're talking about cartoons or not cartoons, but if we're talking about cartoons, then my first ever celebrity crush was Robin's from the original, Robin's, Robin from the original Teen Titans. That was my favorite thing ever. And then it was Danny Phantom. Um, <laughs> I was really into cartoons. Um, but first, actual in real life person celebrity crush that I can remember is Nick Jonas. I was obsessed with Nick Jonas. I would literally sleep with a picture of Nick Jonas with me. Like, I was that fucking obsessed. It was ridiculous. I mean, 
I mean, here I am now with all these pictures of Melanie Martinez and Ed Sheeran and Supernatural all over my wall, but I mean, like, at least I'm not sleeping with pictures of them like I did with Nick Jonas. It was really weird, and I was, like, in third grade, and it was just, I, I don't want to look back in it. I just don't want to look back in it, on it. I, 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 the bye. Anyway, and then from Cry Bebe's House, what song by Melanie do you relate to most? The song I relate to by Melanie most hmm, is probably either Cry Baby or Mad Hatter. Oh, it's another one. Oh, I can't remember. There was one more, but I can't. Those two mainly. Because Mad Hatter is kind of saying, like, you know, it's okay to be different. It's okay to be, like, a little bit off. Like, you know, you don't have to fit into what society's norms are. Also, Mrs. Potato Head. Because... Um, I'll get into that after Mad Hatter, but, like, Mad, Mad Hatter just means so much to me, because it was the first song I ever heard, and, like, I just, I feel it so hard. And Cry Baby, pretty much the same thing, because, like, oh my god, I cry a lot, which is why I rarely wear makeup, but I was doing a video today, I'm gonna turn this light off and see what happens. Okay, that's better. Anyways, um, but I did makeup today, because I'm doing a video, and... Um, Mrs. Potato Head is because I'm very insecure in my own skin, and it's kind of, like, that song is saying, like, you know, it's okay, you're beautiful the way that you are, and the music video for that, I highly recommend you go watch the Mrs. Potato Head music video, like, just go look it up, it is amazing, I loved it, I thought I heard someone else's voice for a second, and I almost freaked out, but that was my own, and I just, I really just scared myself for some reason, but anyways, eh. Thank you for watching. I'll do another video soon, sooner than the last time, because I actually want to keep up with this channel this year. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hair. Talking about my hair. Quick story about me bleaching it out before I go. This side was already blonde, so whatever. But this side was black, so we bleached it out, and I used to have all pink hair, which I think I have a video of me with my all pink hair. I'm not 100% sure, but I had all pink hair, so when we bleached out the black, it turned kind of reddish pink. We just put a little bit more pink over top and it looks more red, but in better lighting you can kind of, well, up here where it went blonde you can see the pink and blue is falling. That's really, this is why I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Leave me more comments if you want another Q&A, just comment questions below and let me know if it's okay or not for me to say your user. Um, because I really do want to respect people's privacy. And, anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will hopefully be putting up another video next week. And, um, that's all. Bye, guys.